about me. I just might break out of the song at any time. <laughs> Gospel 1300 WOAD and 103.5 FM. Good morning, y'all. And of course, uh, in the studio with me, I got none other than First Lady B. But I tell y'all what, uh, the thing of it is, is that she made me do it. You know, she brings a, she brings it out <laughs> I made in him me. do it. <laughs> she brings it out in me. And uh, certainly, how you doing this morning? I am awesome this morning. How you doing? I'm doing well. Good. Something tells me she's going to be in rare form this morning. <laughs> I, I just feel it in my bones. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's, what is going on? So first, let's talk about last night. Um, okay. You know, last night they had the hand-in-hand -hand, um, telethon. So I'm going to talk about the Nashville uh, portion of it, because I guess they, they broadcast it live from a bunch of different cities, uh -huh. right? And um, so the Nashville um, part of it was done at the Grand Ole Opry. And you had CeCe Winans, you had Usher Raymond, who performed alongside Blake Shelton. They performed that B.B. King song, um, Stand By Me. Yeah. So that was pretty, that was a pretty powerful moment. Then you had Tim McGraw, Faith Hill. You had Darius Rucker was there. You had, a, you know, that Nashville scene. Yeah, just um, a veritable who's who. Yeah, who's Nashville. who of Nashville was there. So that was, um, so that part of the hand-to-hand, -hand, you know, I personally watched because, you know, that's why all our folks, you know, all our gospel Christian artists, you know, mm -hmm. they, they tend to hang yeah. out in Nashville. So that happened last night. Let's talk about, before I get into this, let's talk about this Bobby Christina biopic, right? It's supposed to air on TV One October the 8th, right? Uh -huh. TV One, they have Demetria McKinney playing Whitney Houston, and they have this, this um, new girl, I forgot her name, playing Bobby Christina. Well, last week, Bobby Brown filed a lawsuit to stop it from airing. And his reasoning was that he felt like they depict him in the uh, movie or the biopic as a bad father, like he didn't love his daughter, right? Mm -hmm. TV1 TV One released a statement saying that they stand by their production. Of course they do. Of course, right? Well, yesterday, Bobby Christina's estate, which we all know is Sissy Houston, <laughs> right. filed a lawsuit to stop it as well. And once again, TV1 is saying... We stand by our production. Well, I mean, you know, they done invested so much in, in making mm -hmm. this thing happen yep. that, uh, you know, uh, it may be in court for a while, mm -hmm. but they're going to show it one they of gonna these days. They're going to show it. They're going to show it. So, so that's, that's what I want to know. So they found the suit. So are they still going to go forward with the, with you know, with the October the 8th premiere day? I mean... Well, this is going to have to be, uh, they're going to have to wait for the courts to act on, on those uh, motions. Yeah. I've been watching Law and Order. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but but they're gonna, I, I, I do believe it, and if I'm, if, if I'm wrong, uh, one of our, our, our legal legals can, yeah. can give us a call here. 601-995-1300. Right. And tell me I'm different, I'm wrong. But, yeah, because I want to know. But I, I think they've got, they've got to wait until the court acts. One way or another. Oh wow! On the, on that. On the. Oh wow! And um, so. Well, I'm. You know. I'll be honest. I'm. I'm actually looking forward um, to seeing it because they, of course, you know, it's all about Bobby Christina's early life, and the, and it's really um, evolved around them raising her, and uh -huh. you know, and and Bobby did admit a while ago, if I if I recall, I think it was last year, you know, that him and Whitney, you know, could have been better parents. Well, you know, and typically, uh, you know, this parenting thing is uh, this, this was a road that that you know really didn't have a, a good roadmap for them. Yeah. And that uh, you know, when you when you try to raise raise children, you know, in that kind of limelight, you know, uh -huh. uh, I don't think there's a, a roadmap for there doing that. No blueprint at all. So uh, there's so many things there, and uh, I remember you remember the um, the reality show that. Bobby and yep. Whitney were doing yep. it for a while. Yep. And I remember it, it was a time when apparently he was trying to get himself together. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they uh, were taking a meeting with some people. And there was, when he walked in the room, he saw some things and some yep. people that he didn't like. That's right. And he had the good sense to walk away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
time. So, you know, that, you know, Bobby was so young when he got into this mm -hmm. uh, entertainment business that uh, there were some things that he may well have, uh, you know, well, obviously a lot of things he indulged in. Right, right. But it took him a while to grow up. That's right. And realize that, okay, I don't need to be doing this. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen to that. Yeah. All right. So Times, um, Time Magazine did, like last Thursday, I think it was, released their, what they call Time First. And it's um, 49 women, right, who okay. were the first at, at doing something, right? And Aretha Franklin was, um, when, my girl Aretha Franklin was uh, one of those uh, 49 women featured, right? Mm -hmm. Because she, I guess she was the first female to, to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. Right. So, but the the, um, the what I loved about her piece is that they went back to her father, um, C. L. The legendary C. L. Oh, yeah. Franklin's church, yeah. right, in Detroit, and um, and she um, you know she played at the piano and she kind of talked about her dad and how um, and I, you know I, and I've always heard the stories, but to hear it come out of her mouth, you know, was kind of enlightening and how her dad was the one who actually pushed her. You know, to you know, into singing, and you know how mm -hmm. back in the day, you know, folks was kind of mad because you know her father was a pastor and she was singing circular music, but what they didn't know is that you know CL, you know, was running all the blues folks and R and B folks, you know, through his home in Detroit, you know, mm -hmm. and you you know that life, you know, and she kind of touched on that a little bit. Well. <laughs> Find out something new every yeah, day. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, but it, but it was her 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 um her 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 piece. You know, was very enlightening because you know I, I you know I recall you know hearing the stories about you know how back then you know folks you know had an issue with her singing you know no secular doubt. music no you doubt. know and even and even you know particularly with the Church of God in Christ yeah uh, that that up tempo gospel of them clock sisters yeah were singing, that's right they had a problem with that too. I was gonna say yeah because and it, it brought me to that because I remember watching I think their their um, unsung came on TV one. Because mm -hmm. I recorded it, and they talked about they talked about how um, you know folks had an issue with that, you yeah. know, with them singing oh, yeah. up tempo, you know, certainly did. slow it down, mm -hmm. <laughs> slow it down. So um, that happened um, this past week, and then Ashley Rose Love, Cece Winer's daughter, got married on Saturday. Oh, huh. yeah, she got married uh -huh. to a guy named Kenny Phillips. Hmm. Yeah. About that. Yeah, she got and they just got engaged. I, I want to say a couple couple months ago, they got engaged and they got married over the weekend in Nashville. And BB posted a couple pictures on his, you know, on his social media pages. Cece just, you know, Cece posted a couple pictures, uh -huh. and you know, she, and, she, and I guess Ashley must have just turned thirty because last week she, you know, wished a happy birthday, and then right. this past weekend, um, she um she got married this past weekend, so well, I'm congratulating her. Yeah, on her on her on her nuptials. Oh, then let's talk about Lecrae. So there's this video on YouTube. So you know he's out promoting his um his upcoming CD, All Things Work Together, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And this on this video on YouTube from last week, Lecrae talks about how he almost left Christianity because of the way Christian folks was judging and treating him. Okay, and I, I heard about this. Some, so you did hear about some this some time ago. Okay, that you know he he was having a problem with uh, you know basically how people were judging him. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and um, so um, yeah, he he had a serious issue with yeah. how he was being treated. So so, it, but it leads me to the question. It leads me to the question that if we profess to be Christians, right? Mm -hmm. When we when we tell the world that. We have to walk a certain way. We have to talk a certain way. We have to talk and walk like we're Christians, right? Yeah. Yes. And then there, there, and there also has to be accountability, right? Yeah. So like okay. if you see me somewhere and I'm not acting Christ-like. First lady. <laughs> come on now. What you doing, What girl? you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Reel it on in, <laughs> you know. So well, I, You know, all too often, though, yeah. you, you know, even, you know, it, I think it takes a very special friend and special relationship between people yeah. where you would feel comfortable enough to say, hey, person. Yeah. Man, what you doing? Yeah, what you doing? You yeah. know, that ain't cool. Right, that's right. You know, and all too often nowadays, uh, people don't have those close relationships where they feel comfortable basically yeah. getting in your business. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You yeah, know, it's true. just, they, we got this live and let live attitude. Yeah, that's true. And um, so, you know, uh, admittedly, um, 
some of the things, some of the music that Lil Cray was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, millennials, you know, because, you know, I got a couple of kids in, in, in that uh, bracket. Yeah. Uh, they were receptive to what he was doing. Mm -hmm. um, I know my daughter loves Lil Cray. Yeah. There's some stuff that I like personally. Yeah, yeah. But the, um, as, as, as a rule, a lot of uh, his music was not uh, finding acceptance. That's right. You know, because back, you know, when Lecrae would really first got hot, uh, a lot of radio stations around the country, wouldn't play gospel him. radio stations, uh, format stations, mm -hmm. would not play him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he probably would find it hard to find a church where he could perform as he traveled right, around, right. around the country. Which probably the reason why him and Andy Menino used to end up going overseas a lot yeah. to perform. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay. All right, so let's talk about Greenleaf. T today's Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> today's Wednesday. So last week on Basie Skanks then resigned. Yeah, Basie <laughs> Skanks caught a beat down and had the lead time. <laughs> had the lead time. Look, left his wife behind and everything. Yes, indeed. He had to come to Jesus meeting. Yeah. It didn't go well. Yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> didn't go well. No. And look, I said, um, who saw that coming? Though? Who, I, you know, can I tell you, I didn't see that coming. Because uh -uh. he's so arrogant on the show. Yeah. You yeah. know, I had I I didn't see it coming. I had no idea it was coming. And then and, and then to see um I always forget his name, the bishop son, that's Po Po Chad. I always yeah. forget his name. But you know the thing about it, when you run into Big Brother Love to Hurt You so Come much, on. he put some pressure on he you. Put, you. Yes, you Lord. To, <laughs> <laughs> if you can't come up with what you owe him, you, yeah. <laughs> you gotta leave town. You gotta leave town. I mean left his wife, everything behind. Just get out of there. He's like, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so he left. He but, gone. But it, it 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 is it really got interested. And also, yeah. we were talking before we got on the air, y'all, uh, about Deborah Joy Winans' character. Yes. And uh, you know, this girl's looking for love. She's looking for love, baby. And she and she <laughs> she drew a bead on that producer. Ooh, baby. And and uh, hey. Look, her, look. He got got. That's right. Look, if she's looking for love so much, her whole wardrobe style has changed. Yeah, she and like, like we said earlier too, you know, she's lost weight. She's lost weight. Um, yeah, her hair know. different. Yeah, clothes you know, different. They, they they accentuated the voluptuous factor. Yes, Lord. You know, when it came to her, mm -hmm. and uh, fortunately, when they had that that heart to heart talk, she found out indeed the guy was interested. Yeah, you yeah. know, he said he lied to her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? That's all she needed. So that's all she needed. You <laughs> that's know, all she and needed. of course that came on the heels of a. Uh, of a scene where Jacqueline Carr, Jacqueline was, Carr was, yes. and was there, and she was, you know, and she uh, was talking about the song, uh, of course, uh, mm -hmm. uh, De Deborah Joy's character, wasn't feeling the things she had to say about her song. She was jealous. Let's be you know. real. Deborah, Deborah had that. You invade my. You, let's be real. Deborah oh, was okay, being well, territorial. Okay, now see, this is this is this is male female perspective. Yeah. Now. I thought that you know my thing was that Deborah had it in her mind that. This is how, this was the perfect song the way she had she had uh, you know written mm -hmm. and recorded it yeah and when Jacqueline came in wanted to ch wanted to Jacqueline change said, let's that. change some stuff and uh, so she did that her character did not appreciate she ain't like that and you know what else she ain't like mm -hmm. when he hugged Jacqueline he, you saw that look on you saw oh, yeah. you saw oh, yeah. Deborah yeah, I do remember that part you saw look you saw what, what you saw Charity Charity gave Charity gave Jacqueline that look like look girl. Little girl, you need to get on that. Get on up out of here now. <laughs> all right. What else you got? We're going to have to wrap up. Oh, but um, that's all I have. Um, I, I want to, um, uh, on the radio, thank Lady T. She came to our church this past Sunday for our uh, youth, um, our, our, our annual youth day, and she did a phenomenal job. I know she was your gospel artist showcase winner. Yeah. So, so I want to, um, on the radio, publicly thank her for coming to our youth day. She did a phenomenal job. The children loved her. Pastor loved her so much that he started rapping at the end of service. Uh -oh. I said, Lord Jesus. <laughs> well, you know, actually, I was I was honored and and, and surprised mm -hmm. at the same time. Uh, a couple of Saturdays ago, she, you know, she released her full project, mm -hmm. and uh, I got there just before what turned out to be her wedding. Yeah, she just got married. That's right. That's right. And uh, this was a surprise to everybody in attendance because you know we're all dressed down. Yeah, you know, yeah. I got shirt and jeans on yeah. and everything. You know, thinking it's a really you know CD release party. Yeah. And apparently, her the pastor. 
and her fiance yeah. was the only one knew that they was, was always the only one in on it. Yeah, <laughs> and so it turned out to be a beautiful moment. I wish yeah. her many years of, yes. of wedded bliss. Yes, yes, yes. I want to thank her for that. And then also, I always want to end, you know, shouting out my husband, Pastor Ernest E. Slaughter Sr., and our New Caney Creek Missionary Baptist Church family. Um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at First Lady B, or log on to my blog, FirstLadyB.com. All right, fantastic. Let's do it again next Wednesday here on WOAD 103.5 FM and AM 1300.